Good day, this is Pastor Lance Henderson with Our Savior Lutheran Church in West Columbia, South Carolina. And this is Daily Prayer for Monday, June 29th, 2020. Our reading this morning is from the book of Genesis, always a favorite, the 22nd chapter. And it goes like this. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, by myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies and by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. Well, if you haven't figured out, this passage is the passage immediately after the binding of Isaac. If you will recall learning about this one in vacation Bible school as a young child, uh, and the illustrations that would come with the teaching materials were awfully, awfully What's the word to look for? It just bothers them. You know, there's, uh, by God's order, Abraham takes his only son, Isaac, the son he's waited for for decades and decades and decades. And because the Lord says so, he takes him up to the mountaintop and says, um, you're going to, uh, uh, well, <laughs> Isaac says, oh, we're going to make a sacrifice to God. And Abraham says, yeah. And then he says, um, but we don't have a sheep or anything. And Abram cryptically says, God will provide. And Isaac has no idea that he's supposed to be the sacrifice. And of course, you know, you've got the images of, you know, this big stone dagger with Abraham right over it. And then suddenly God provides, there's a, a sheep, a ram in the thicket with his horns caught and that's sacrificed instead. And now this happens that the angel of the Lord gives the same promise to God again. And I love the language. Uh, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord. In other words, it's God saying, I swear to God. I swear to God, because you've done this, not withheld your only son, uh, you will be blessed according to the original promise. You'll have plentiful offspring and you will be a blessing to the earth. So it's that promise again, and it's so strange because there's just so many different theological takes on this. You know, who is faithful? Abram, who offers to sacrifice Isaac? Or God, who does give his only son to defeat death? And you think, wow, I just don't get what's going on here. Now, most all the major theistic religions have a take on this story. For Islam, it's not Abraham and Isaac, it's Abram and Ishmael. But in the New Testament, because scripture interprets scripture, defines how we are to look at this story. And in the book of Hebrews, it says that the reason this is done is that Abram says to himself, well, I guess I can go ahead and sacrifice him because God's going to keep his promise and he'll have to resurrect him. Well, from a New Testament perspective, of course, it's all about resurrection. The cross would mean nothing. We could be free of sin if at the moment we died, we were dead forever. What good would it do? And so the secret is in resurrection. And Abram, according to the New Testament, is faithful that God is going to keep his promise through the promise of resurrection. That's good news. Okay, uh, our prayer, it's getting to be, we're in the midst of summertime and they're starting to talk about what are they going to do this school year. These are a lot of tough decisions to make, I understand. So we're going to have a prayer for our schools, uh, teachers who are already starting to have to prep. Uh, hearing word from administrations about what they're going to do. My son is going through this as he heads up to Clemson University this fall. It's 
who knows what's going to happen. So let's pray for our schools. The Lord be with you. O oh God, a source of all goodness, you give, we give you thanks for the gift of reason and the opportunity of, for education. Bless our schools that they may be places of learning and safety, where teachers challenge the minds and nurture the hearts of students. Grant that teachers and students may work together in mutual respect and find joy in the challenges of academic life. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who taught us and his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.